Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the AMD A10 7850K processor, which we have mounted on this ASRock motherboard right now. Um, just give you a quick rundown of specs, show you a couple quick gaming benchmarks, but definitely make sure to check out the full review at HighTechLegion.com because it's going to have a lot more detail than this quick video and go into detail about some of the new features that are on this processor as well. So here we have a closer look at the AMD A10-7850K processor. It is an unlocked chip signified by the K at the end of the model number and it does require a different slot than previous models of their APUs, the FM2 Plus slot. However, the FM2 Plus slot is backwards compatible with Richland and Trinity chips that fit into the FM2 slot. So if you already have an FM2 Plus board um, that you have Richland or Trinity in, then you can should be able to just drop the AMD A10-7850K into that slot as long as you update the BIOS. If you don't have an FM2 Plus board already, then you can purchase one and put your current chip, Richland or Trinity, in it uh, until you have the money to purchase the Kavari chipset. And then once you do that, you can put that in and off you go. So this is manufactured on the 28 nanometer manufacturing process. So it, it does have a slightly lower core frequency on it, but you do get better heat dissipation as well as a higher potential for processing power. So it runs at 3.7 gigahertz and has a turbo core of 4 gigahertz and it also has an R7 um, Radeon GPU right on board. So the R7 Radeon GPU is based on the Hawaii GPU core and this particular die, the 7850K, has four CPU compute cores and eight GPU compute cores for a total of 12 GPU compute cores. Now why is that important? It's important because HSA computing or heterogeneous computing is coming down the line and what that means is that processes will run on this and the system will automatically decide whether it will be more efficient to run it the workload on the GPU core or the CPU core so they'll be able to talk to each other no problem uh, have complete open access to the system memory as well and so you also think something to keep in mind with these APUs is that the higher speed memory will give you more performance on your GPU. So this processor APU does have two by two megs of L2 cache on board for a total of four megs. And what it allows you really to do is um, have a chip, a processor, that has some decent onboard graphics so if you don't have the the cache for a discrete GPU right away you could certainly use one of these and play all the modern games at a reasonable frame rate uh, on low settings however if you want to spend a little bit more you can pair it with an R7 240 or R7 250 graphics card and put that in dual graphics mode so that it'll run in a crossfire mode with the GPU that's built into the APU and then you'll have more processing power still you're gonna wanna play your games on low to medium settings to get a decent frame rate but you get an even even more of a boost that way that's not to say that this processor can't be run with a discrete graphics card because as you'll see in our benchmark graphs we did run it with an R9270 2 gig graphics card and it ran very well on ultra and very high settings with the games, no problems.
I hope you all enjoyed this quick overview and the couple benchmarks for the AMD A107850K processor APU. For the full review, definitely don't forget to check out www.hightechlegion.com. Subscribe to our YouTube page, Twitter, and Facebook as well. Thank you, and take care.